Everyone, welcome back. Today we have the side-by-side -side in the shop for the first time for its first mods. We did throw a roof on it before just for some riding, but today it's winter time here in Colorado. Figured we'd throw some seat heaters in this thing and then a half windshield. I've heard that the half windshields are really good. Full windshields, I've heard mixed emotions about them. You know, they seal off the cab and all that stuff, but yet you don't get much airflow. And then a half windshield, though, helps break the wind off of you and not, not just kill you with the wind. So today Alex stopped by and we're going to... Another project, right? Oh, yeah. Always have projects <laughs> over here. Yep. So we're going to uh, go ahead and get started with pulling the seats out of this thing to get the seat heaters in. Actually, we might throw the windshield on first. That seems like a little pretty easy project to tackle, but either way, we're going to try to do it. Seems like I haven't looked into it too much. I'll open up the instructions and look, but pop the seats out, get the upholstery off, and then we should be able to slide the heaters up in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm not 100% not sure. Uh, learning. This will be the first time we've done anything really side by side, so I'm not exactly sure how they'll put together. It's pretty cool. I'll get it opened up, show you guys. There's like switches that we can do to install uh, as well right here in the center console for the heaters. So I've got to get the center console out so I can knock these out so I can put the switches in and all of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get started with pulling this stuff out. Getting started with the windshield, we're going to go ahead looking at the destructions here. we got to pop these four bolts and then drill this with our 3H drill bit slap these j nuts right here and then that'll be the clamps for the bottom portion of it and then these are the clamps that go right here and then we got to put some foam tape on that once we pull the protective film off the windshield so pretty straightforward seems like a pretty easy install we're gonna go ahead and get started with it went ahead and drilled the 3 8 hole now we just need to install these j clips in here got to just try to lift up on this and slide it right in there so we're gonna go and do that now don't drop it i don't know we'll get it back out <laughs> Here. Oh, we'll get it back. I'm trying to. Just right. God damn it. Nailed it. Easy peasy. Get this one installed. Not a good thing they got that back piece though to catch it. And good. Nice. Nailed it. So now these screw into the window, into these here. So that makes it pretty easy. And then the clamps. So super easy install. I mean, we've only been messing with it for what a couple minutes. We just got to get the protective pulled off and put this foam on it too. So we can kind of get it set in place. Then we can do the upper clamps. Now we have all the foam on here. You just cut it around these little spots where the screws go through. We should be able to pretty much place it, put the screws in it and mount these up here. Go ahead and, go ahead and try it. We'll spin, spin, spin. So come around right here. Look at that. Foam sits up on the bar there. Foam sits right there. Put a couple of these screws in here. Well, I can hold it with my elbow. Taking the protector off? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and peel the front off and then we finish this thing off. Not bad though. Nice little half windshield. Our heads will be, you know, right, right about there. Pretty cool. Super easy to install so far. Project one of installing a half windshield is done today. So now we're going to go ahead and move to the inside, try to pop these seats out, see how hard it's going to be to get these covers off. And then, like I said, we'll get the little switches installed here. Shouldn't be too bad. I got to pop the center console off. The battery in the Can-Ams is right behind the passenger seat. So all the wiring for the seat heaters is going to be behind there. Uh, it actually comes pretty nice little kit. Grab this thing and open it up. I was looking at these. Whenever you order this kit, this is like what you get right here. So so one kit comes with enough for one seat. So you need two boxes if you're going to do both seats in a two-seater. You got a back pad and a lower butt pad and then your relay wiring and then the switch so this is that switch i was talking about which is pretty cool i was watching reviews you got a low and a high on the heater and then some tape to help tape these to the back or to the bottom of the seat so we're going to go ahead and get these off and then we'll figure out how those are going to place in there run wiring all that stuff gotta figure it out i have an idea of some shit i'm gonna have to remove both these knobs for sure looks like three bolts here and two push pins back here then we can get the center console out and, of it and yeah this top piece to the center should come out to where we can do the seat heaters and then we got to figure out i think removing the seats on these things is pretty straightforward you have a bolt here a bolt there and then yeah, so it's two bolts back here to pop that framework. out you might be able to see a little bit better if you look through that edge possibly here I'll slide these forward too and then we can look at them so we'll go ahead and get started on that keep you guys updated so missed the spot when cleaning, but we figured it out. Looks like it's the vertical nut there and there, and then the cross ones up front. Let's go ahead and work on these back ones first. Get these out, and then these seats with the hole slider, everything comes out with them. That should make it pretty easy. Looks like in the instructions, if you're working on like a Razor Polaris stuff, I think that sometimes you gotta separate the track from these seats, but these seats you shouldn't have to or something, but we gonna find out today. Your video, have you watched on doing this? <laughs> I haven't watched any video on doing this. Oh, I thought you said something about, kind of looked at how. Oh, <laughs> uh, the instructions. 
that doesn't tell you anything about how to pull an X3 seat apart. So we could try to find some stuff. But it looks like Alex was looking. There's like a zip tie clamp here. One of the, where's that at? Right here's like this is the clip for like the seat cover or whatever. So we're thinking you got to remove a few things or cut these little zip tie clamps right there. And that'll relieve this and let the cover come out. And then we'll have to figure out how to get the bottom off. So right now we're just trying to figure out how to disassemble this. X3 seat cover. Using the Googles. So we watched a quick video and it looks like this is just held in with Velcro. Supposedly. So we that's read. Sounds like too. Oh, and that is what they said in the instructions. You might end up losing the Velcro like that. Oh. Uh, that one didn't, one. that one came off. Yeah, I felt this one coming apart, so I separated Same. it by hand. That one. Oh well, that's what they said. That probably will come off whenever you remove these covers like this. Maybe this one does the same. Maybe we never had to remove these out of the yeah to help wire and stuff. And it's got like a little rubber rubber deal there, which if this seat cover will come off, we'll be all right. We don't even have to pull it off of there. Let's try to peel this up. Undo that. So that opens up a slot for the seat, and then we have a little bit of Velcro there. Wanna be Velcro here? A little bit there. Looks like the seats are all held together pretty much by Velcro, and then we should be able to slide the heater right right in there. We should be all right right at that point. Oh, look at that. So that opens that. And voila! Man, if this is the same way where it's just Velcro, it feels like that one's a little more solid, but we'll find out. Yeah, that's good. I think it's just gonna lay in here. Yeah. Might have to trim it or whatever. Grab one of those heaters and see how it sits. So went ahead and cut these button zips, and now we should just have to slide up. Release the slatch back here, I think. There it goes. And that one's off. So now we should be able to undo this. Lay our heaters. And the inside of here, inside of there, I have to do some trimming or whatever, and then we'll go from there. There's some bare seats now. We're going to go ahead and get these laid on here. We got an upper and a lower, and then we got to run the wiring out the back of them. It looks like it's kind of nice. You can unhook them right here, and then we can do the wiring in the in the side-by-side. -side. So we, we just got to get these. Like, that one's pretty much going to lay perfect. This one, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for going around, kind of where it Velcro's here and see if, I don't know, we're supposed to cut it or what, but it, this is the heating element, so I don't think you can really cut through that. We'll find out, maybe you can, but I would assume at some point, maybe it's trimmable because they all interlock and everything. So I'll have to read on there and see how I can trim this thing and see if how that works. All right, so I got the lower pad installed, wrapped around, just kind of stuck it there and there. The seat seems to hold it. I actually put this back on to see if like through here where this Velcro's at, if it made it look much different and you really can't tell any difference. So I went ahead and just tuck those a little bit so it can Velcro along this whole edge. And then this has that, which you really can't tell much of a difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. So then we get the most use out of the heating pad as we can and go ahead and get the top one installed now. Got the upper pad in now. Use some tape on that one. This one's pretty easy. At least it can kind of attach here, 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 and here with the original seat cover. And then we'll run the wires right through that little hole that's accessed for the bolts in the back. It should be good to go. That tape doesn't stick all that great, but maybe it'll help a little bit. Keep it in place at least while I get the cover on it. So driver's seat is all back together. Ended up actually just using some zip ties since I don't have them little zip clamp things they were talking about. Uh, button zips, so that works out just fine. Holds it on there good. Top piece is clamped. Can't really even tell it's even got heaters in there. You can see the little bit of wiring right there, which I don't think you're really going to sit on it, hopefully. So hopefully that's no big deal. And then Alex has been working on getting the center console out of this thing. And now we know how to take seat covers off. <laughs> so he's got that. It's actually right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out right here. You guys can see that already marked out for him. Drill, drill, file it down until those buttons sit in here nice. And then we'll run the wiring back along here and then over to the battery. All right, everyone, so Alex was actually able to keep this seat inside, just removed the seat covers and everything, the pads, we went ahead and installed it, got the switches installed in this little console, you just kind of drill it here and, you know, work it out. Don't go all the way to the border here. I kind of did that on that one and it was a little wide, so I had to create a little spacer in there. Shh, don't tell nobody. But anyway, we need to put that last seat in there. We have the wires ran up here to plug it in. Everything sits in this console. Shout out to Can-Am. Right down in here, there's a little like bus bar right there that has a power lug, a ground lug, and a keyed uh, lug. So any accessories you have in this thing, it's literally right below right here. Uh, little 10 millimeter nuts, you unplug them, and then you just hook up all the wiring from this harness right to it. The three wires, a yellow one goes to the keyed, and red to power, black to ground hooks up super easy i guess that's what you can use for your other accessories so if you're hooking up a light bar or whatever 
you have it all right there it all works off the key so now that this is on you can flip this switch and it lights up that's high that's low and everything right there so we're gonna get the last seat installed and then maybe go take this thing for a rip see how the uh heaters work see if the windshield made a big difference and we'll let you guys know so not bad for a quick project got it warming up we're gonna go try it out see how it feels you can come in here kick these bad boys on to high and then let them start warming up so we're gonna go make a rip just drive it around the block and test them out but otherwise i mean what do you think probably five-ish hours to do the windshield and the seats Maybe, yeah, maybe that's with absolutely no knowledge. In yeah, no, no and nothing, having to Google stuff, eating in between it, so not too bad. But we're going to get it backed out, a couple quick little mods, so coming together with the little roof. I mean, all these things, like I think 150 bucks, uh, I think 150 bucks. And then the seat heaters are about 40 bucks a piece. They're those test ones, and, uh, I mean, plus shipping or whatever, so... Not, not a lot of money in the mod so far, which I know these things can get out of hand, but these are all kind of the basic ones. Definitely one of the windshield. I'm hoping this makes a big difference with helping, you know, push some air over the cab and not just straight through you. But we're gonna go find out. And then I'm gonna grab April real quick, have her check them out, see what she thinks. And hopefully we'll be going, doing some more riding, even though it's kind of winter time. This should definitely help. So verdict's already out. I can feel the heater. We barely pulled out of the garage. They come on pretty fast. Oh yeah. Feel pretty good, actually. So this ain't bad. That wasn't a bad little pool of 60. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they run pretty decent. Is your first time in a side by side? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, Sure the windshield's helping some, but you know, you're still getting blasted pretty good. If I we had goggles on, it'd be way better too. You cold? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the new seats. Yeah. Go hop in. They're they're already warmed up. Feels pretty warm. Pretty crispy. Oh. Pretty decent, huh? Yeah. How's the window? Ah, uh, it's still pretty windy. Yeah. Yeah. You want to drive it? Yeah. All right. I mean, it, I think it helps, but it's still get you because we're taller if we were shorter in the seats i think it would make a bigger difference but yeah i guess the seat is pretty warm do you have your seat belt on not yet So I think the verdict's out. Seat heaters work really good. Yes, they do. Half windshield, eh, it's still pretty windy. <laughs> but the heaters, they, they they work really good. So now we can go do a little more riding in the, the winter time. Yeah. I think it's gonna help, definitely. So just getting to Alex for the help on the project. First side-by-side -side mod video. If you guys wanna see other mods possibly get done to ours, let us know what you'd like. And then if we wanna do it to it, then you know, Maybe that'll work out, and then we can do a video for you guys. Hopefully this helps you if you're getting ready to do some of these mods and stuff. The next video you see should be back on, hopefully, the Camaro. Don't know, I got to get the short block, you know, sent off and everything. So we'll get that headed out. But otherwise, guys, we're done here for the day. Time to go inside. See ya.